Welcome to the California Immunization Registry Training Video, Vaccine Inventory. Training Objectives. This course is designed to introduce you to the inventory function and care. After completing this course, you should be able to do the following. Add, view, and update vaccine inventory, view and update inventory alerts, and view and print inventory transactions. Power users of CARE have the ability to set up the CARE inventory module for their organization. The inventory management function of CARE is used to view, add, or update any vaccine your organization has on hand. This function is designed to be a complete tracking system for a provider's inventory. The inventory management function is accessed by clicking on the Manage Inventory link on the menu panel. From the Manage Inventory screen, click Show Inventory. From the Manage Inventory screen, you can add inventory, modify inventory quantity, show transactions, view the inventory count listing, print a PDF of your inventory, and cancel to return to the previous screen. To add inventory, click the Add Inventory button. To search by vaccine group, click the radio button at the end of the field. Once the vaccine group is selected, the trade name will populate with the correct trade names for the vaccine group. Once the trade name is selected, the manufacturer dropdown will populate with the correct manufacturer. To search by trade name, click the radio button at the end of the trade name field. The manufacturer dropdown will populate with the correct manufacturer. The radio button defaults to vaccine group. NDC stands for National Drug Code. It is displayed in the care inventory screens. Packaging refers to the type and quantity of doses in each package. For example, 1 times 10 vials means a 10-pack of single-dose vials. The NDC drop-down list is auto-populated based on the trade name you selected. Choose the NDC that matches what is on your vaccine package. Once you've entered the NDC, the system will auto-fill the packaging based on the NDC entered. Enter the lot number of the vaccine in the lot number text box. Choose the dose size from the dose size drop-down list. Enter the vaccine lot's expiration date, fill in the field using the month, date, year format, or use the pop-up to calendar icon to select a date. From the drop-down list, select a funding source. You can choose VFC, 317, State General Fund, or Private. The lot active drop-down list defaults to yes. When adding new inventory, the lot may only be entered as active. This controls whether the lot shows up on the drop-down list when adding immunizations to patient records. Enter the number of vaccine doses received in the quantity on hand text box. Enter the cost per dose of the vaccine in the cost per dose field if desired. When you have completed the screen, click the Save button. If the new vaccine was saved successfully, the message Inventory was inserted successfully displays at the bottom of the screen. The Modify Quantity on Hand fields display after saving in case the quantity enter originally needs to be adjusted. In this example, we received 40 doses but typed in 50 by mistake. This can be corrected on this screen. Reduce the total by 10 doses by selecting Subtract from the Action drop-down box and indicating 10 in the Amount text field. From the drop-down list, select the reason for the adjustment. We are doing an error correction. For the complete list of descriptions for reasons, see the user manual. You may also enter under reason notes additional detail about the adjustment. When you are done, you will click the Save button. CARE will adjust the quantity on hand and post the message, Inventory was updated successfully at the bottom of the screen. To continue adding vaccines, click the Add New button. You will be taken to the Add Vaccine screen, and to add each additional lot of inventory, repeat filling in the fields and drop-down boxes and click Save. When you are done and no adjustments are needed, click the Cancel button to return to the Show Inventory screen.
To print a record of your inventory, you may use the print button. Use this button to create and print a PDF of the inventory listed on the show inventory screen. You can filter the inventory that displays in the PDF by using funding source dropdown and or show radio buttons. The PDF report header will list the organization, date, and selected filters. It sorts first by trade name, then by funding source, and then by lot number. Notice the column labeled physical count. This column is included for your convenience when comparing your inventory and care with your actual inventory. To print this document, click the printer icon on the Adobe toolbar. To exit this screen, click the X in the upper right corner to close the PDF screen and return to the show inventory screen. When inventory in care does not match inventory on hand, you will need to modify the quantity shown in care so it is accurate. Use the Modify Quantity button to do this. From the Show Inventory screen, check the box next to the vaccine lot or lots whose quantity you want to modify. Be sure the filter setting at the top are set correctly to see all the vaccines to be modified. Once you have selected all the inventory to be modified, click the Modify Quantity button. You can modify more than one lot at a time. There are several reasons why a lot's quantity might need to be modified. Your organization could have received a new shipment of the same lot, valves could have been damaged, or vaccine could have been wasted. In this example, we're going to subtract 10 with a reason of spilled broken. There are many other options in the reason dropdown. The user manual has a description of them all. As you can see, the Convax lot has been decreased from 40 doses on hand to 30 doses currently in inventory. Before leaving this screen, I would like to remind you about the color coding used on the Manage Inventory screen. Highlighted rows of vaccine are set to expire soon. When the information for any vaccine appears in red, it means the vaccine is no longer active. To return to the Manage Inventory screen, click Cancel. From the Manage Inventory screen, you can set up inventory alert preferences for your organization. Inventory alerts show on the organization's homepage and the Manage Inventory screen. Click the Update Alert Preferences button to set up your preferences. The first alert is Inventory Expiration. It populates the section called Active Inventory that is going to expire or expired lots with a quantity. To set the alert, enter the number of days prior to the expiration date you would like to be notified. Default is 30 days notice. To enter a low-level alert for all vaccine groups or trade names, select whether you wish to update the alerts by trade name or vaccine group in the Update Low-Level Alerts Default section. Then enter the number of doses at which care will indicate the inventory is running low. The default value is 5 doses. To modify alerts by individual vaccine group, select the Vaccine Group radio button. Then enter the low-level alerts for the vaccine group by funding source. When you have finished updating your alert preferences, click the Save button at the bottom of the screen. The message Updated Alert Preferences displays after you hit Save. To return to the Manage Inventory screen, click the Cancel button at the bottom of the screen. As you can see, the inventory alerts have been updated to show all vaccine expiring within 60 days and the low-level alerts have been customized. The same inventory alerts will show up on the home page. The Show Transactions report can display all transactions related to your organization's inventory, including doses received, doses transferred, doses expired, immunizations given, and modifications of inventory quantity, which we have reviewed previously in this video. Fill in the fields to generate an on-screen report of vaccine transactions. Complete as many drop-downs as appropriate. If you simply fill in a date range in the Date Entered section and leave everything else as default to All, you will see a report of all inventory transactions for that time frame. To see transactions for one date, enter the same date in both date range boxes. It is best to use Date Entered when creating this report because that is the date that will display on this report results. You can use the drop-down list to filter your report results in several ways. The username drop-down lists everyone at your organization with access to the system. 
The transaction type dropdown shows all the different types of inventory transactions that are possible in CARE. For definitions of transaction types, refer to the user manual which you can find under the Forms tab. Site name is not used at this time. All transactions will be for the organization you are logged under. The trade name, lot number, funding source dropdown lists all vaccine lots you have ever entered into your inventory. Note that the default display is 200 records. If you are running the report for a long time frame, you will want to increase the number. For this report, we will run all transactions for August 8, 2016. To see the report, click the View button. The transactions completed on that day were immunizations given, receipt of inventory, spoilage reported, error correction lost or unaccounted inventory, and refrigeration failure. For example, on the first line we can see that the transaction type is immunize, which is immunization given and shows the quantity, patient ID, and details on the patient. There are many other transaction types that could display. The transaction types are listed with a code in the type column and are explained in the vaccine transaction total section below. For example, TRA means doses transferred. The vaccine transaction totals table chronicles all vaccine activities. The trans count means the number of each of these transactions that occurred during your report time frame. The trans value is the total number of doses for that transaction type. To print, use the print function on your browser. To exit, click Cancel. Helpful reminders. Power users can set up care inventory for their organization. Quantity can be modified as needed to keep care inventory accurate. Regular and power users can run transaction summary reports. After setting up your care inventory module, you can customize your alert preferences. For additional CARE support, reference the CARE User Manual located under the Forms tab on the CARE Login page at the URL on the screen. Or you can contact the CARE Help Desk at 800-578-7889 or email them carehelpdesk at cdph.ca.gov.